Welcome back, fellow gamers. I want to talk to you today about the five gods of Amonkhet, and I want to rank them from worst to best. Now, this is mechanically uh, my opinion for pretty much Commander, or maybe in a vacuum, I don't know. I've evaluated them for Commander, uh, but I don't know if it'll work across formats. Obviously, if you open any of the gods in Limited, you're probably going to play it. Uh, maybe not not the blue one. I, I think the blue one's trash. Number five is out of the bag. <laughs> but I will say that I think that the gods were intentionally left as, as pretty weak comparatively, I think story-wise and flavor-wise, because Bolas came in and, you know, infected the plane, changed the plane somehow, and and neutered these gods. What happened is, is you know, based on the story, spoilers, if you haven't read the latest one, is uh, the gods' memories were wiped. So if, if Bolas can wipe the memories, it can also probably tone down the power level. Not to mention that there's also three other gods that are, you know, MIA, whether they're dead or in a sarcophagus, who knows? But all this to say that I think that that could be one of the justifications as to why these gods do not stack up remotely close to the Theros gods. Like, you look at the Theros gods, and I think each of them is, is strong within their own right. Uh, Heliod could have been a lot more powerful, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, so, bef before I ramble on anymore, let's just jump right in. So, with that said, number five, you already know it, the blue god. Uh, I'm not even going to name, bother pronouncing this name here. It's uh, Kefnet. Kefnet. I don't even know if I'm going to be saying any of these, these, these names correctly. Probably not, but whatever. Uh, the fact that you can only attack if you've got a um, a, a full hand or or more, for me doesn't really. I don't like that. You know, yeah, you're paying mana to draw a card and and possibly bounce a land to your hand, but it's still it's still a lot of mana to do that. I'm not really thrilled about it, so that's why it's ranked there. It's, for me, not that great. The next one is o Okitra. Okitra? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to get so many comments. Again, this here, it's, it's not particularly that great. You, you're paying four to put out a 1-1, one, one, whereas with Heloid, you're paying four to put out a 2-1. So that in itself, why would I play this one here? Yeah, you could attack with three or more creatures, so maybe it's easier to turn on. Uh, it's It's okay. Not anything I'm really excited about, to be quite honest. It's, it's, I'm looking at the card right now, right in front of me. Like, it, it's just, I don't know. I just, I don't, it, it doesn't speak to me at all. Like, it's not nothing I'm really excited about. Uh, next, or uh, number three, we'd have Hazret. Um, Hazret's, you know, it's a 5 4 destructible haste. The haste, how, how often is that going to trigger? Because you'll have to get one or fewer cards, so you got to play it near the end. So at, at four mana, it just seems like it's in a weird spot unless you can dump your hand. I don't think I'm going to play it. Even its ability, you know, for three, discard a card. Hazard deals, yeah, Hazard deals two damage to uh, each opponent. If you're in a multiplayer game, cool, but I don't know how much discard you're going to be able to get with that. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's nothing that really speaks out to me. Again, uh, now at number two <laughs> is the Green God. Uh, Rondus, or Rondus, uh, he's, I'm going to have to, I have to listen to other people say these names, uh, Death Touch Indestructible for three is not bad, and I think, um, him turning on and being able to attack is quite easy to do, especially in green, uh, by, you know, pain, uh, pain three, you can actually give another target creature, you control plus two plus O, oh, and, and give it trample, so that kind of activates, it, it would be, you'd be able to turn on the god to attack I'm going to say that between two and one, there is a huge gap, a huge, huge, huge gap in, in a vacuum of these five. I don't think that the three, the bottom three I mentioned are even playable, especially in commander. Number two might fit into a, to a spot, but I could think of a lot of other cards I'd rather play. Number one though, obviously the one that we have yet mentioned is Bantu. <laughs> I love, I love, I hope that's the way you pronounce his name because I love saying Bantu. <laughs> uh, for three, he's a four-six menace indestructible, uh, and he can't attack or block unless the creature died in your control this turn. I think that's really easy, especially when you pay a black and a colorless to sacrifice another creature. You get to scry one. I'm a big fan of scrying. Anytime I can scry, and if I have a sack outlet that's built in to help me scry, but not only that, you're draining life uh, from each opponent, and then you gain a life. I just like the fact I love um, outlets for me to be able to sacrifice stuff. So this is another avenue which I'm going to insert. I'm definitely going to insert him. He's by far the strongest god out of the five. 
my favorite. I actually I was really happy when they spoiled Bantu. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna probably keep him in a lot of my commander decks. I'm gonna insert him in almost every black deck that I that I run because I always need uh, sacrifice outlets, and and he's providing that. And then value. So you know what the scry. I, I love scrying. And then draining life. So you know having your opponents lose one life and then you gaining life goes great into a lot of different decks as well. There you have it. That's my rundown of the five gods. I would love to know what your list is. Rank them from one to five in the comments below or, you know, just discuss my list. Tell me why I'm wrong. I would love to hear it. Uh, in the meantime, you can check out some of my other videos right over here. And if you'd like to subscribe, you can do that right there. It not only helps the channel, but it lets you know when we upload new content. I'd like to thank you for making me a part of your day. And until next time, good gaming.